All right, guys. Uh, update number four. I have uh, adjusted my panels for close to the uh, latitude, which is about 41 degrees here. I actually tipped them up a little higher because we're getting into uh, into the fall and winter seasons here coming up. So I figured I'd take advantage of that. Uh, still don't have the the wind turbine up. There's my wash tub base I didn't put away yet from a little hoe down we had. Uh, let's see here. The update. Um, it's been a couple months and I made some changes and here it is. That is my wonderful combiner box hanging off there that will be, uh, that will be replaced with something more structural. Uh, new inverter, my old inverter, uh, bought off a member on a forum. It was a uh, uh, modified sine wave, which just didn't meet my needs. Um, so I got this sine wave, uh, pure sine wave Ames power inverter, which, you know, they're cheaper than, you know, the, the standard, the good, the 100 pound gorilla type inverters out there. but. I can't afford those, so I, I ended up with this. Um, my stereo sucks too many electrons at turn on, so my stereo won't turn on unless I have a fan on, which you know kind of generates a little a little power for me in the coil when I turn that uh, that stereo on. But anyways, kind of acts like a flywheel. I popped that on the forum and discussed that and kind of validated um, some of my thoughts there. I also have an IOTA charger, 24 volt charger here. Um, on my last video, I had a bunch of batteries hooked up. On this video, my uh, counter space has been replaced. It used to be kind of crummy because uh, I had my place rented out, somebody making candles, and there was wax all over, etc. But now, I've got four Trojan T105s here. I made a little latch here, hold that up there and got my um, hydrometer here. So I have four T105, Trojan T105s in series for a total of 24 volts. I started taking some tests of the uh, specific gravity and will continue to do so. And I just have a couple other pieces of information here, some um, Morningstar. LED information. I also have the data sheet on the uh, on the Trojan T105. Anyway, I uh, kind of built that in to the cabinet. So look under here, and you can see the cabinet. And what I did is my my guy who was renting out my place left these a couple of these Pepsi Cola uh, stackable two liter containers. Oops, got cut up, and I cut out a little bit of the plastic, and I lined it with a, a garbage bag here and there's two of them side by side so you can see here's uh, one with two batteries and another with two batteries I need to get some heavier plastic I don't think it's heavy enough anyways enough of that so what am I doing um, installed this box here which is going to show me the volts of the uh, <coughs> of the battery bank in an on off uh, disconnect and also in here I put a uh, actually a couple of fuses I know that's kind of redundant but I have a uh, 150 amp fuse here which is a little higher than what I need so I put in a 100 amp fuse that I had to happen to have laying around <coughs> So I know it's redundant, but I'm also testing. That's a 32 volt fuse, 100 amp, laying around. So I want to see if that's going to work for me. Um, wires are coming out of this box. They're going to be plumbed through some uh, channel going over to the inverter. Um, but so far everything's looking good. I took this box here. It used to be an old sprinkler system control box. I tried cutting some a circular hole in it, and you can see where I got with that. But anyways, I ended up uh, cutting a square hole and plugging this timer in. And the timer basically 
counts down and controls a relay. The relay turns this on and off, which is an outlet. Um, I know guys, this is a remodel outlet and you know, I will have it uh, plumbed as well when I'm done, but um, basically I'm feeding power into the, the counter and the relay. The relay then feeds power when it counts down over to this um, outlet. The outlet powers the IOTA charger. And I have the countdown right now for one minute. And I'm going to change that. Um, so it counts down every 72 hours or so. Um, and then what will happen, it will power up the circuit. You're going to see it power up now because I almost had it on for a minute here. but. Uh, and there's a little LED here that will light up. Actually, it's probably not an LED, but... Oh, there it goes right there. So now, it's counting down eight hours. Um, it's going to charge the batteries for eight hours. But the IOTA is smart enough to check the battery bank to see if it needs a charge. And if it doesn't, it's not going to charge it. It's not going to consume power. So basically, it's going to turn on and peak at the battery bank every 72 hours. Um, quick update. That's what I got going on. Um, that'll be fixed. Uh, anyway, stay tuned. Thanks for looking and thanks for your uh, feedback, everybody. It's been very helpful. I know uh, text messages back and forth on the replies and all that. It, it always doesn't uh, come across as you really mean. And I, I'm really appreciative of everybody's comments. Thanks.